All right, let's work on ode to a pair of runtimes. Consider the following pairs of functions representing algorithmic runtimes, algorithm runtimes, expressed in terms of the positive variables n and occasionally k, where k is less than n. For each pair, write between them the best choice of left to indicate that the left one is big O of the right one. Okay, so that would be, uh, I'll write left if that's left is in O of right. Right to indicate that the right one is big O of the left one, so that's right is in big O of left. Same to indicate that the two are big theta of each other, that's, that's both of these. If left is in big O of right and right is in big O of left, then they're big theta. Or none to indicate that none of the previous relationships holds. Okay. You are choosing the faster one, do not use... Oh, you're choosing the fast one, so left is in big O of R means left is the faster one, so if R dominates, then R is slower, so we want to write L, left. Do not write left or right if same is true. Anytime same is true, left and right are both true, but that's not the best choice. Same is the best choice in that case. And the first one is filled in for us. So, yeah, sure enough, N is an element. Why don't we just write it over here? n is an element of big O of n squared, so this should be left. Okay, now uh, n cubed plus n log n plus n over log n. Well, n cubed dominates both of these terms. Those are just low order terms. So this is equivalent asymptotically to just theta n cubed. And over here, this term drops out. This is n squared. Uh, n squared is faster. n squared is smaller. So this will be right. The square root of n and the square root of n log n. Um, if the square roots weren't here, then this one would be faster, right? Because n log n, we're multiplying by something that's larger than constant. It grows to be bigger than any given constant. Uh, so that would be slower. Uh, the square root doesn't make any difference here, but just to double check that, let's divide the first by the second, and we'll expect that to go to zero because the, se the second one should dominate. So these cancel out, and this is just 1 over log n, the square root of 1 over log n. Well, log n gets larger and larger, and as it gets larger, so does its square root, admittedly very, very slowly. And so as a result, yes, the left-hand one will be faster. All right, n squared log n and n times n plus 1 over 2. Let's just multiply this out. That's n squared plus n over 2 n squared over 2 plus n over 2. This is a low order term, and this is just a constant factor. So n squared versus n squared log n, n squared is going to be faster. All right, 2n squared and n to the 2n. Um, I mean, 2 to the n n times 2 to the n, 2 to the n is, is, grows enormously quickly, uh, faster than any polynomial. This is just a constant coefficient, so we're really just looking at the polynomial n squared here. Uh, and this, this factor of n uh, m makes it grow even faster, uh, but it's, it's not even necessary. Uh, still, the left-hand side here is much, much, much faster than the right-hand side. A log of n versus 37 just just imagine graphing this, okay? So here's n and here's log of n. And this is a slow growing function, but any constant you want to pick, like 37, this function will eventually exceed it. The function goes to infinity as n goes to infinity. It just goes more slowly than n or n squared or anything like that. So any constant is going to be faster asymptotically than log of n. Uh, cube root of n versus the square root of n, well, that's just... Uh, n to the 0 0.5, well, it's not going to work well for cube root. Let's call it n to the 1 half, and this is n to the 1 third, and n to the 1 third is going to grow more slowly than n to the 1 half. Anytime we compare two polynomials, if one of them has a lower exponent, it will grow more, uh, more slowly, and it'll be faster. Uh, n versus n to the log of n, well, that's a very strange looking term, but uh, this is really not unlike this one up here. Uh, here we've got n to the 1, and here we've got n to the log n. Well, this log n is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, so this will actually not only grow faster than n to the 1, this will grow faster than any polynomial, because any polynomial has a highest order term, and eventually that log n will be larger than that highest order term. 
So this left one. And in fact, that right one is, is quite slow. All right. Now we're moving on to ungraded challenges, but we're doing it the same way. So 2n square root of n plus n times n plus log n versus n square root of n log n. Ick. Uh, but let's do some multiplying out. So this one on the left here, that's 2n root n plus n squared, and then plus n log n. Uh, n squared dominates n log n. How does it compare to 2n root n? Well, you might be more comfortable with this again if you, like we did up above, if you rewrite the square root of n as n to the one point, n to the 0 0.5, that is. So this is n to the 1 times n to the 0 0.5. That's 2 times n to the 1.5. Uh, and uh, this, this 2 doesn't matter. The 1.5 here, compared to the 2, it's going to be dominated. So this is an n squared term on the left. And on the right, this is n to the 1.5 log n. And it's worth noting here that any polynomial, so any uh, n to the c for c greater than 0, dominates any log of n raised to the k power. So just plain log of n, or log of n squared, or log of n cubed, or whatever, any even a really tiny polynomial dominates that. And uh, so in this case, n squared versus n to the 1.5, well, we can cut off an n to the 1.5 from this and end up with n to the 0 0.5. And over here, we get rid of that completely. And now we're comparing a polynomial, the square root of n, to a logarithmic, log n. And this is going to dominate, which means this is going to be faster. So this right-hand side is faster. n to the 2n versus n times n squared. Well, n times n squared, that's just n cubed. n to the 2n, uh, that's n squared to the n, or if, if we want to pull the n inside instead and put the 2 on the outside, that's n to the n squared, which actually looks prettier to me. Um, n to the n is huge. It's bigger than n factorial. Uh, it's certainly bigger than 2 to the n, for example or any exponential. Uh, n to the n squared is going to be even huger. Uh, and this is just a polynomial over here. So clearly that right-hand side is going to be much, much faster. n and k. Uh, let's look back up for this n and k one. And remember what the relationship between n and k is? k, where k is less than n. So we don't know how they compare asymptotically, but we know that k is upper bounded by n. It's less than n, uh, which means, <clears throat> automatically that means k is an element of big O of n. Uh, we, we don't know if n is an element of big O of k or not. So we can't say same. They're not necessarily theta of each other. And k could just be one, for example. Uh, so it really depends on how they scale relative to each other, and we don't have that information. So the best we can do, since k is in big O of n, the best we can do is just say right here. Uh, so the right is, what we're really saying is not that it's faster, because big O doesn't say k in big, big O of n doesn't say k is asymptotically faster. It says k is asymptotically at least as fast, and, and that is true here. Okay, now more complex ones with n and k. nk plus k log k versus n log n. Well, again, it might be helpful to think about what happens when k is small versus when k is large. Uh, when k is very small, then, you know, say a constant, then this ends up just being n. So if k in O of 1, then we get just uh, theta n as a bound for this. Uh, k can also uh, be in theta of n. For example, if k is equal to n minus 1. And in that case, this is going to be an n squared term. This will be an n log n term. And so this will be in theta n squared. That's a lot of variance. Oh, uh, so on the top end, this is actually slower than, than this term over here. It dominates. But on the bottom end, it's faster. So as a result, we're not going to be able to say anything. Uh, the left one's not big O of the right one. The right one's not big O of the left one. We just don't have enough information about the relationship between N and K. So we're going to say none.